The Stones are in their final weeks of the Hackney Diamonds Tour, having just played shows 16 and 17 this past week in Vancouver and Los Angeles. Just three more shows to go before the tour wraps up in Missouri on July 21st. The Stones played their only Canada date on this tour in Vancouver. Bitch made it into the set, and tonight's fan vote was a fantastic version of Street Fighting Man, the first on this tour, which for my money is the better opening song to start the show instead of Start Me Up, in my personal opinion. They absolutely nailed this performance, and I highly suggest you checking out the entire performance of the song on Shonana's YouTube channel. The ever cheeky Mick had some fun with the crowd during the band intros, which got a reaction from the crowd. I mean, we love your Mr. Trudeau. I mean, his family's always been such big fans of our band. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on the Canadian soccer team. Then the Stones moved on to Los Angeles for the first of two shows last night. LA always finds the Stones bringing a little extra to the proceedings and by all accounts, LA got the great stuff. You Got Me Rocking made its second appearance on this tour and Beasts of Burden was the winner of the fan vote. A very nice addition to the set, although would have been better to get Fool to Cry, which the Stones did sound check earlier that afternoon. The reviews were glowing last night. Here's what the LA Times had to say. Even if we go to the stones for the crushed velvet and silver jewelry, the sneers and pouts, and the communal rituals of stadium rock, the band remains unsatisfied. No maudlin tributes, even to their own. No memory lanes to traverse, just guitars and the devil battling it out in the incandescent late years of the best rock band we'll probably ever get. And here's what Variety had to say. Time remains on the Stones' side in every improbable, impossible sense, at least when it comes to Jagger, Keith Richards, and Ron Wood, who continue to deliver the goods in a way that makes this outing a must-catch tour, even if you had heard them start a show which start me up a dozen times already. On paper, the essential brattiness that is a central part of the Stones' ethos is not a good look for octogenarians. In ongoing execution, they wear it well. The only thing diminished about their show at SoFi was your own shrinking sense of skepticism about whether they can pull it off or still should. With Jagger and Richard still at 80 and Wood, the baby of the core trio at 77, this is still a band in what can be considered a late period prime. Wow, that says it all, doesn't it? I mean, it's one thing for Stones fans and Uber fans, you know, if, to be fanboying about the Stones right now, but when you have essential outsiders confirming what we're all seeing. I mean, here we are 17 shows into the tour 
and the Stones have gone from city to city, completely giving it their all and giving the middle finger to all the naysayers, um, whoever those dim-witted people are at this point. Well, this is it, the final run. Just three more shows in the Hackney Diamonds 2024 tour. They have one more in Los Angeles, and they go up to Santa Clara, California, and then wrap things up in Ridgedale, Missouri. And then that's it for this year's tour. Wow, it's gone by like that, hasn't it? Um, so many cool moments. What were some of your favorite moments? We'd love to hear them. Put them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe because um, the channel is going to keep on going even though the tour is going to be over. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming, and I hope you'll be around to see it. So make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Hangfire.